Who were we before 1492? That's where all this shit started, all right? Africa Bambada, the comedic Zulu nation of Moors, held a conference at the National Black Theater in Harlem. Let's start in 2007. When we keep saying this is our land and they say it's not our land and everybody ain't been fighting. Right. What is the plan to tell all these people to go back home so they can know what to do now to stop for survival for the onslaught that's heading our way? There you go, straight from the horse's mouth. I told you, all this started in 2007. And the Moors were the first ones to start talking this crazy shit. All right? So we just heard Africa Bambada make the assertion. Now let's listen to Roz Mariah Bay say the same thing, 2007. First of all, it doesn't matter that they tell you that this isn't your land. You know that it is your land. What you need to do, what we need to do, is start acting like it. Right. All right? What, there's a principle across the entire planet. It's called nationality. It's called, it comes from natality, natal, as in birthrights. This is your land. If we were to do what we need to do, which is to nationalize our own land, and as you said, tell them to go home. But we won't stand up and do that. One, we don't know what nationality is. Two, we don't see, a lot of us have not been interested in finding out what it is yet. We all know we have one. We all know we're, we're born with birthrights, but we won't get into what that is. Three, if we were to come together, it appears that we have agreed on a lot of things tonight, so let's agree on nationalizing what is ours. Meaning anybody that's not from here cannot stay here and suck on the breast of your mother earth. They have to go. So there you have Roz Mariah Bay. And now you know where you get this whole nationality and we're gonna make them leave our land and all that shit. This is where they get it from. Everything come from Moors. Everything come from these Moors. So, What's interesting is, guess who else was in attendance at this conference? Ernie Panicoli. Now, if you know who Ernie Panicoli is, his reputation precedes himself. If you don't, and you claim to be indigenous or into hip hop culture, then you're lost. Now, Ernie Panicoli has been a supporter of hip hop culture and the black community all his life fought side by side with the black community. In fact, he's a member of the Zulu nation. At no point in time is Ernie considered to be an invader or someone who came here and stole the culture. You see, Ernie Panicoli is Cree. So this whole concept of they stole the culture, why was no one talking about it here? Why was nobody accusing him of being a thief here? Why were they, in fact, honoring him as being an indigenous man? And this is 2007. Let's go. If this is science, if any of you think that you are descended from slaves, if you think that you are descended from slaves, then you need to leave. None of you are descended from slaves. You are descended from people who were put, put in a condition of slavery. Absolutely no pushback on the slavery thing in 2007. And now we have mental slavery. And until we turn around and mental slavery, that your school, the economic system, and this whole goddamn country don't need nothing. Bring that back to Donald Trump. Now you see nothing but a warm round of applause for our Cree brother, Ernie Panicoli, back in 2007. Wasn't nobody calling him an invader. Now, let's speak back up to 2008, the inauguration of the first black president of the United States. And let's see what he says about Morocco. Because this fueled the fire as well. This is what gave the Moors even more incentive to continue to push the narrative. The first nation to recognize my country was Morocco. In signing the Treaty of Tripoli in 1796, our second president, John Adams, wrote, the United States has in itself no character of enmity against the laws, religion, or tranquility of Muslims. And since our founding, American Muslims have enriched the United States. So for the next three years, these dirty groups of Moors pushed the narrative that African Americans, true identity, are Moors 
and they are the rightful heirs of these lands called America. For the next three years, these Moors took African Americans on a journey down the road of sovereignty in America. And this is where the idea of this being our land, nationalizing and claiming it for ourselves comes from from the Moors who are pushing this false narrative. When we keep saying this is our land and they say it's not our land and everybody ain't been fight, what is the plan to tell all these people to go back home where they can know what to do now to stop for survival for the onslaught that's heading our way? So this is the important piece to the puzzle. 2011, President Barack Obama declared support for the United Nations Declaration for the Rights of Indigenous People. And in that declaration, it said Indigenous people have the rights to self-identify. This is when Black Americans began to now self-identify as Indigenous and Aboriginal. And any other term they could find that would connect them to the pre-existing populations of the Americas so they could make the claim that they have jurisdiction over the foreigners. It's all conflation. And it started in 2007, culminated in 2011 with UNDRIP. And that's how we got to where we at. Peace. And as you know, in April, we announced that we were reviewing our position on the UN Declaration on the Rights of Indigenous Peoples. And today I can announce that the United States is lending its support to this declaration. This is where black Americans start to run with the idea, I can change my identity or nationality, which now takes us back to the point that Roz Mariah was making. We need to nationalize so we can force people who aren't from here off of our land. Of which Ernie Panicoli, without being confrontational, let the people know, no, you're not descendants of slaves. You're descendants of people who were enslaved. And those people came from Africa, right? But now, in order to make claims of nationality and claim to the land, African-Americans or dirty Moors have to now convince the world that they're the original Americans so they can somehow lay claim, nationalize, and force people off. And this is what this whole ABO movement is about. People thinking they're going to make claims to a nationality and within the rights of that nation, force people off this land. It's all conflated, confusion, None of it's real. It's a bunch of morons piggybacking off of morons who are piggybacking off of people who are intentionally trying to deceive the masses so they can make a living online. That's what this shit is all about. But that's what it takes, you digitally panhandling. <laughs> it's digitally panhandling. Yo, try follow my cash app. <laughs> Yo, make a donation to my, yo, yo, that's digital panhandling, yo. It's all right here, right in your face. 2011, Obama makes the speech. Here you go. And as you know, in April, we announced that we were reviewing our position on the UN Declaration on the Rights of Indigenous Peoples. And today I can announce that the United States is lending its support to this declaration. That's where the confusion comes, where people started to to determine that they can declare their own nationality, thus nationalizing the land, thus taking the land back from the Europeans. This is where all these concepts come from. They're all flawed, they're all half-assed, and they all have their origins in this conference. Where were you before 1492? When we keep saying this is our land, and they say it's not our land, and everybody ain't been fight. Quiet. What is the plan to tell all these people to go back home where they can know what to do now to stop for survival for the onslaught that's heading our way?